Arab countries in the Middle East. That it, it was at a secret base in Jordan to train at the time the rebels, the insurgents that were fighting Bashar Assad's regime in Syria. And then actually this has since been confirmed by the UK Guardian, by Der Spiegel, by the uh, uh, also Reuters has confirmed. No, that's that right. We had you on at the time. So again, World Net Daily, your sources, this was confirmed then, yes. Yeah, so we were running a, a training base, in other words, for rebels that are uh, highly connected to al-Qaeda. But at the time, the United States um, finally admitted that they were giving aid to rebels, but said that they were vetting the rebels, the, uh, the extremists, let's say, for elements of connections to al-Qaeda. Well, now I have information that we were training ISIS, not, not thousands of, of the ISIS members that are ISIS members that are cur currently right now uh, gaining major ground in Iraq, we're talking here about dozens, but but the larger story actually goes to to Benghazi. Uh, actually, this is a story that I'm going to be breaking a little bit later, but I will first reveal it on this radio show. Uh, on Sunday, we arrested a guy named Ahmed Abu Katala, who is a member of Ansar al Sharia, senior member of Ansar al Sharia in in Libya, wanted for the Benghazi attack. Well, it's a little bit strange that out of nowhere, suddenly we arrest this guy. Because actually, last year, there was U.S. Special Forces were tracking his every move. They were actually uh, literally hours, according to CNN and the Washington Post, hours from arresting him. But then all of a sudden, Obama calls for the arrest at the exact same time in Libya of another terrorist. His name's Al Libby. The guy's been wanted since the 80s. He, he operates openly. They could have arrested him at any time. So al Libya's arrested in this public raid. And then this guy who was just arrested, Katala, uh, is suspected in the Benghazi attack. He hears about it, and he goes underground. So all of a sudden, we now arrest him. So I have information, actually, that Katala, again, he's actually, as of uh, his arrest, the most wanted jihadist for the Benghazi attack, the murder of four Americans, including a U.S. ambassador, well, my information is that Katala, also, again, the most wanted terrorist in Benghazi for the attack, he was working uh, for a nexus that included the United States, Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, Kuwait, the Arab countries. He was working before the Benghazi attack, in other words, for the United States' effort to arm the rebels. So it, it's a larger story. It goes all the way to Benghazi, to Syria, and beyond of the United States, for whatever reason, uh, arming, training, funding uh, rebels that absolutely included al-Qaeda. Uh, I am speechless right now because I know you've broken story after story. You've got the sources in Jordan, the sources in Israel, the sources all over the Middle East, and, and, and you're saying your sources that have been accurate in the past, that they're actually burning their double or triple agents right now, obviously for PR to get heat off Obama on Benghazi? Well, you know, I think it, it actually could be in this case that this individual, Katala, and, and I'm sure the other terrorists, I don't think that they really know themselves who they're working for or that they're part of an ultimate uh, coordination that includes the United States. They're just interested in their short-term goal of of jihad of, of exactly because the Islamic money goes state. down through all these levels and is fenced through saudi arabia yeah but what's interesting in this case what's going on right now let's get to the current situation in iraq i'm actually not so sure uh, i think that it, there could actually be something else going on here and that uh united states obama repro uh, carries out this reproachment with iran uh, grand grand bargaining, grand deal. They signed an interim agreement trying to get a, a finalized agreement by uh, July. So what we have done, at least according to the Middle Eastern security officials uh, here, and I'm actually coming to you right now live from Tel Aviv uh, here in the Middle East, is that we've spurned now Saudi Arabia. So the Saudis are really pissed. Uh, in the past, this is just according to my sources, uh, it, it was, of course, the Saudis that were behind uh, funding of the rebels with the United States, first in Libya and then in Syria. Uh, all of a sudden, the Saudis are cut off. They're in shock by the United States' reproachment toward Iran. So I think it could very well be that in this case, the ISIS fighting in Iraq is, ac and actually according to my sources, they are heavily, uh, they're basically proxies for Saudi Arabia. Uh, but I, I don't know if in this case, the Saudis are coordinating with the United States and any other Western country. 
or this is the Saudis backed into such a corner by uh, the United States with this reproachment toward Iran. So well, stay there. Explain it to us on the other side. This is incredible. To have a fighting chance against cold and flu bugs, get the world's best garlic extract, Allison Plus C. Fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi with Allison Plus C. Scientifically proven in double-blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Allison Plus C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized Allison, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Allison Plus C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Allison Plus C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Allison Plus C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract, Allison Plus C. To order, call 855-ALLISON. That's 855-255-4246. Or go to allisonplus.com, spelled A-L-L-I-C. C I N plus dot com. Get Allison plus C from Affinity Health Products. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. How long would you last if all grocery stores cease to exist? Not in America. This can't happen in America. Because of my concern about our government, I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout, and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got. I like the containers they were shipped in. If they keep in touch with you. You get your emails. You get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick. It came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. one 800 259 9-31-31. Listen up, all you preppers and survival enthusiasts. Sigma 3 Survival School has a brand new survival instructor training program that will teach you everything you need to know about survival and then license you to teach our survival programs so you can make a substantial profit from it. If you have always wanted to learn to be completely self-reliant and would like to make money at it, then check out Sigma 3 Survival School Survival Instructor Program at survivalschool.us or call 479-561-3886 today. Well, this is certainly the end for Iraq. This is the end. I see him breaking the country in multiple parts. Yeah. Maliki, the president, for those that don't know, we have a Zero Hedge article with his quotes up on Infowars.com, came out and said, Iran's involved in a triple cross against us. They want part of the country. And I'm not saying he's a saint, but he is elected, and he is trying to be an Iraqi, not an Iranian, not a Saudi. Undoubtedly, this is an organized army with Saudi Arabia admittedly behind it. That's in the foreign news, just not here in the media. Watching all the pundits play dumb is ridiculous. Mr. Klein, Aaron Klein of KleinOnline.com and WorldNet Daily, he'll be on the nightly news tomorrow for an extended interview with the latest developments and more. We've only got five minutes left with him.
Uh, so give us the big picture from the, uh, your sources all over the Middle East that have been shown to be very accurate in the past about what's really going on here with Saudi Arabia in rampage mode. Mr. Klein. Yeah, you mentioned al-Maliki and his double cross with Iran. Actually, my information also, according to Middle Eastern security officials that I talked to, is that it was Obama that directly contacted, the, well, the Obama administration, that members of the White House, that directly contacted Maliki, the Iraqi prime minister, the Iraqi government, and first requested that Iran, that they allow the Iranian Revolutionary Guards in last week. So it was actually the United States that opened up the floodgates for now these various battalions of the Al-Quds uh, wing of the, uh, Iran of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards to enter Iraq. So first of all, the larger question needs to be asked is this. It's, with whatever deal Obama has made, the United States, with, uh, with Iran, does that include it? it? Really, I'm sorry to say, but it has to be asked. It, is Obama really here handing Iraq over to Iran? That's first. Now, second, if, if we look at the even larger scheme of things, with what you and I were just talking about before the break, the, um, the uh, funding, the arming, the training of these uh, Al-Qaeda-linked insurgency rebels. Uh, the problem, obviously, and it, it, it's obvious to you and I, I, guess, I don't know if the Obama administration understands, I hope they don't understand this, because uh, if they do, it means they're doing it intentionally, is that, uh, is that if you're arming and you're training and you're funding jihadist Al-Qaeda Looney Tunes who you know, believe in this fifth-century ideology, uh, are they, does anybody honestly believe at the end of the day that they're just going to give up their weapons after Libya? No, of course not. They didn't. They went to Syria. Are they going to give up their weapons after Syria? Obviously not. They're now in Iraq. So we're creating, whether intentionally or not, an al-Qaeda army. And this is an al-Qaeda army on steroids because uh, these organizations now have man pads. They have uh, first, they have manpads from Libya because uh, after the uh, the fall of Gaddafi, for whatever reason, NATO, the United States, did not protect Gaddafi's uh, reserves of manpads. We're talking tens of thousands, actually the largest manpad reserve in all of Africa. You're talking about surface-to-air missiles. I mean, this is just totally off the charts, dwarfing what Reagan gave them uh, in the 80s. And 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 what's what's uh, Maliki going to do, or I'm always pronouncing it wrong. Uh, what is the president of Iraq going to do? What are we going to do? I, I mean, I mean, how how does Obama do a deal with Iran? But then they're also funding the Al Qaeda people. I mean, is the plan just destabilize Iraq? Why? And then we know these weapons are going to end up getting into uh, Lebanon and are going to attack Israel. I mean, what is Al Qaeda going to do with thousands of surface-to-air missiles in the region? This is a, this is a disaster. It's a disaster. I don't think Balaki has much to say because it all depends on whether the Saudis, whoever it is, coordinating or not with the United States, whether they cut off the funding to the rebels in Iraq, which I highly doubt. Um, but the thing is, the rebels themselves are very little. They have no long-term plan. If you give them weapons, they're going to use them. And we didn't just give them, um, uh, we didn't just allow them, let's say, or we, we failed to protect the man pads. My information is that in Syria, we, the United States, gave rebels uh, surf other kinds of surface-to-air missiles, and they were actually used against uh, both Assad's Air Force, and then also uh, we saw them used in... Sure, Egypt. there's videos of it. So who's the main driver behind it? What does Israel think about this? Where do you see it all going? You know, interestingly, I think in the beginning, when this started with Libya and especially with Syria... Israel didn't mind uh, the arming of the rebels because they saw Syria as a partner with Iran and they just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, and actually, let's take it further. Uh, Jordan not only didn't mind, Jordan allowed their country to be used sure. for secret training bases and also to cross over into Iraq. Well, now guess what? The ISIS is threatening directly. The, uh, the very ISIS that trained in Jordan is now threatening the Jordanian king to behead the Jordanian king. Uh, the Al-Qaeda-linked rebels that Israel, by the way, uh, unfortunately even gave, uh, uh, gave uh, aid to, with uh, at least with uh, medical aid, it's, it's confirmed, actually, senior rebel leaders were... All right, Aaron, hospital. listen, listen, I know you got to go, Sumi. you got to do five more minutes and put bookends on this, you know, because I know you really do have a lot of great sources and have been spot on. So if you can't sure. come back and just tell us then, then, then what all the big brains are really thinking is going to happen and sure. what the larger... Is it Big New Brzezinski strategy or who's behind this crazy strategy of chaos and where do you see it going? 
I mean, it's like putting the right wing people in control of uh, of Ukraine. It just looks like a global destabilization program. To what end? We're on well, the